Measles is a highly contagious viral illness characterized by high fever up to 104 degrees, cough, colds, red eyes, small spots in the mouth, followed by a red rash that starts on the face and spreads to the body. Measles should be considered in a patient with a febrile rash illness and symptoms like cough, colds, and conjunctivitis, especially in the setting of recent exposure to an individual with a febrile rash illness or travel to an area of high measles prevalence, particularly in the absence of measles immunity. After exposure, about 90% of susceptible individuals will develop measles. The period of contagiousness is about 5 days before the appearance of rash to 4 days afterward. Measles may be transmitted in public spaces, even in the absence of person-to-person -person contact as the virus remains airborne for two hours. Exposed susceptible individuals should be excluded from work from day 5 through day 21 after exposure. If you or your child has a fever and rash, call the doctor. Don't go to the doctor's office without calling first. Measles spreads easily, so you could give it to other people at the doctor's office. Measles is more likely to be severe and cause complications in children less than 5 years of age, especially infants, pregnant women, adults older than 20 and people with severely compromised immune system like cancer, leukemia, transplantation, HIV, or immunosuppressive drugs. Most deaths are due to pneumonia or encephalitis. Neurologic complications include ADEM and SSP. Symptoms of ADEM include fever, headache, neck stiffness, seizures, confusion or coma. ADEM following measles infection is associated with 10 to 20 percent mortality. SSP is a fatal, progressive degenerative disease of the central nervous system. In general, patients with SSP become ill 7 to 10 years after natural measles infection. What if I was near someone with measles? If you or your child has not had the MMR vaccine, call the doctor. It might still be possible to avoid getting sick. If you get it soon enough, the vaccine can stop measles or make it less serious. People who cannot get the vaccine may get immunoglobulin to fight the virus. The treatment of measles is supportive. There is no specific antiviral therapy approved for treatment of measles. Doctors may give vitamin A to children with measles. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to Diseases Simplified for more health tips and updates.